Welcome to a day in the life of mineral prepping. So what you see here is we are prepping two large Denton mine fluorites. The top one doesn't need a lot, but this bottom one has some big trouble spots. So what we're doing here is we are soaking them in distilled water. We are going to soak them for about 24 hours. And we do that so that the isometric structure really absorbs water in all those little crevices and cracks, especially if there's any fractures. Real quick, here is a before of the Denton that does not need a lot of work. But you'll notice that in the crevices, we have a lot of dirt. We have some surface oxalate deposits. One thing that was really interesting on the piece that needs a lot of work um, it has a lot of fractures on the surface, so you'll note that a lot of bubbles are actually forming as the water is penetrating those fractures. So that is why we soak for a long time. We want to make sure that really penetrates the structure. Okay, so now I'm going to go and do the acid wash, and I'm also going to follow it with a alkaline rinse slash wash. I think the alkaline step is really underrated and something that if you are into mineral prep, you should always do. I'm not going to show this part because we use chemicals here that I don't think beginners should use. And I don't want anyone to mix the wrong chemicals or get into it. Um, that's something that I was taught by a mineral prep mentor. And so I'm not going to get into it here. Maybe I'll get into it when we launch our Patreon, which will show some of the steps more in depth, but I'm going to forego that because I just don't want to show it on TikTok and then like someone mixes the wrong chemicals and gets hurt or whatever. So um, I've been trained to do this and so I'm going to forego that and I'll show you the results in a second. Okay, here you see the minerals are rinsed and they are in their initial drying stage. I'll show you the parts that are problematic. Here is our first dentin. So we see the dirt has been removed. We did a heavy, heavy clean on this one to remove that dirt from crevices. We still have a lot of buildup in the center and that part is really, really bothering me. I think I'm gonna have to do a second wash cycle on this one, which is perfectly fine. We normally do two to three. In this shot, I just want to show why it's really important to remove that dirt in the center. You're going to see in a moment, um, just looking at it from a backlit position, that part is just really gross. I want to remove that in the next cycle. Um, it takes a lot of work to do it, but look at this absolutely gorgeous fluorite. But look, that center is going to show when you backlight it. Okay, now we have the piece that has a lot of issues, but also a lot of potential. First up, we have this aesthetic issue here, really big chunk. We have a ways to remove this, so I think that's going to be our first challenge. Next is the back. So this piece also has some cleavage uh, in the front. So we are going to remove some matrix from the back, which will improve the backlighting. And then we are also going to fracture fill this. Um, it doesn't need a lot of cleaning. But the problem is the fact that it needs a fracture fill also means that it doesn't have the best stability. So we are going to need to be very careful when we are removing any kind of matrix or any kind of surrounding material. And we're going to have to think very carefully in what order we want to do this. So I think we're going to remove some of the matrix in the back first right here. And then we are going to tackle this sort of aesthetic um, problem here. And then we're going to do a fracture fill to increase the stability. So lots of potential, beautiful piece. It's going to take a while though. Okay, well, thanks for joining me um, in a day of mineral prep. These pieces are going to take some more work, um, more than what today will follow. I'm going to work on the trimming and the prep for the large dentin. The small dentin, I think I'm going to put through another cycle. 
just to get rid of the middle part that's really bothering me. And the large Denson, we're gonna have to see what happens um, due to the stability issue and the large aesthetic issue. Um, we'll have to see what happens with that one. So thanks for following, we'll have to see. So uh, stay tuned, bye.